How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Expert Tremor mod Let's Play. Oh man, last episode was huge. We fought three bosses and it was really cool. We've got our nice new updated Crimson set. We beat the Tiki boss in the jungle and also got attacked by the Slime Rain, which was kind of crazy. I've got this mysterious toxic equipment here that we need to forge together and our new pickaxe which is awesome and you guys are giving me lots of feedback and suggestions so we're gonna fight some new bosses this episode uh, we've got our desert crown so we're going to go to the jungle uh, the desert sorry and summon that new boss and also we'll see if we can get the chef to move in because he also has a summoning item oh man so much to do we're gonna mine some meteorite get some new equipment lots happening guys let's get started Okay, our first mission is to make our way back to where this meteorite has landed and see if we can get some of this lovely, lovely meteorite ore. Because there is even new stuff that they have included uh, with meteorite, which is really, really cool. Um, but we do need to fight our way around these crazy meteor heads that are spawning. Oh man, oh man. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a platform so we've got something to stand on here. And uh, hey, 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 none of that meteor head. Alright, beautiful. And then, uh, yeah, we'll sort of, you know, throw some bombs and all that good stuff and see if we can't get lots of this nice meteorite off. In fact, I can probably just do a bit of a one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Just bomb straight through there. Yeah, that's working nice. Cool. I'm, I can probably do the same on this side as well. Alright guys, so I'll speed this up. Let's get all this meteorite ore and then do some crafting before the next boss. Wow guys, it's really raining, but uh, that's a nice time to be inside, and let's do some crafting here. So, ooh, okay, we can make this toxic claymore, uh, which is, I wonder if it's an auto swing sword. Okay, that's pretty sweet, nice. Uh, it looks like it might be a bit stronger than our scythe, uh, which is kind of cool. And because it's all green, it probably has some sort of poison effect, I would wager. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I, I reckon that's pretty much going to replace our side straight away, so that's fine. Uh, ooh, I've got no more weapon racks, so we'll look at look into that in a moment. Uh, the next thing we need to do is... Oh, I might just check and make sure Meteorite all is not used for anything. Uh, nope, nothing new there. Okay, so let's change it all into bars, and then see what we can craft, guys. Oh, 78. Cool. Oh, wow. That jumped out straight away. A Meteor Blade. Oh, yeah, let's make one of them. Ruthless. Whoa, let's check this out. Okay. Holy moly. Man, that thing is massive. It's a bit slower, but it looks like it's got a massive hitbox. So that's pretty cool. 32 damage. Uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. 24, 32. I tell you what, we'll hang on to both and we'll test them both out. And we'll sort of take it from there. Okay, is there anything else new we can make with Meteorite? Uh, just the Meteor set, which I might skip, uh, but we'll definitely make a ham axe. I do love the good old ham axes, they are very useful. Alright guys, so what we'll do, I'll get all this planted, and then, uh, yeah, maybe once the day has brightened up and it stops raining, we'll go to the desert and fight the next boss. Okay guys, here we are in our little desert, and we are ready to fight the next boss, the Rook. And uh, because the Tiki Totem wasn't too difficult, I've literally just chucked a platform across the top here. Uh, a couple of sunflowers, which you can easily plant in the desert just with dirt and grass seeds. And a couple of campfires. And then if we get totally destroyed, well, I can always modify it. But uh, I don't want to over-prepare. So, let's bring on the boss. Whoa, okay, you're straight into it. Wow. <laughs> ah, whoa, okay. Uh, those, those hits hurt. Ouch! Stop shooting feathers at me, you crazy thing. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, oh, it looks like the vultures are getting caught on the... Oh, that's a lot of vultures. Whoa! Oh, okay, I'm gonna put my buffs on. <laughs> okay. D 
Oh, Slimy was beating up the vultures. Ah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man, that's that's a lot of vultures. How am I supposed to fight the boss if I've got to deal with these guys? Oh, man. Okay, all right, there we go. I got rid of your smelly vultures. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. Okay, well, they seem to get caught on the platform, which is kind of fun. Uh, but I still want to... I want to deal with this big old vulture. I don't want to... I don't want to cower behind a platform. Oh, man. Okay, wow. Uh, it seems to be quite susceptible to knockback as well, uh, which is interesting. Okay, I definitely say this boss is tougher than uh, the Tiki Totem. <laughs> it gets the official seal of approval, guys. Oh, man. I think I'm just going to have to rely on Jester Arrows to, uh, yeah, sort of burst through. Although... I've only got 57 left, so this is bad. All right, come down. Stop flying so high. All right, what if I don't shoot it for a little bit? Okay, there you go. Ah, he came lower. Right, get it. Meteor sword. Ah, oh, man. Ah, it doesn't have any knockback. Or oh, not not very much at all. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to run for it. Oh, okay. Stay. Come back down here, you crazy bird. Oh, man. Okay, bring it on, vultures. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can set it. Oh, wow. Oh, man. That was dealing lots of damage, but we were taking heaps as well. Yeah, that's it, Slimy. Get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Ah! Oh, no. Oh, we're actually in slightly potential danger of dying here. Oh, okay. Gotta play it safe. Okay, 50 is Vulture. I haven't got anywhere to set up the... Oh, no! <laughs> How long am I for heal? 25 seconds. This is bad. Oh, man. Wow, those feathers are very uh, persistent. They just keep nailing you. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. I feel like I'm fighting one of the mech bosses. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Just gotta dodge. Just gotta dodge. No, that's not dodging. That's getting hit. Oh man. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh man. This is a cool boss. I like it. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Do you know what? I would probably be so dead if I didn't have that platform there. Wow. Oh no, the vultures are getting through. I'm out of Jester Arrows. Alright, we gotta take you out, bird! <laughs> oh, Alright, Meteor Sword, let's go! Oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh man, that's a tough boss. Wow. I'm glad I didn't fight that one first. Holy moly. Oh. Okay. Uh, so... Uh, it seems like, yeah, you definitely need piercing weapons uh, for this boss, or those vultures would overwhelm you in no time at all. Oh, wow. And uh, I guess just my usual design of two platforms luckily blocked a lot of the vultures. Um, that would have been pretty scary. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, vulture banner. All right, I'm so pumped to see what we get, guys. You ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> oh, what's this? Unpleasant. Desert Claymore. Oh man, it's a new sword. Let's try it. Oh, what's... Oh wow. What's this do? Oh, that's cool. Okay. No, no, slimy, 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 slimy. Just chill for a second. Oh, so it's like a... Okay, so it's like a bit of a trap sword, is it? Okay, let's try it. Come on. Danny, come. Danny, come. Come on. Oh, no, you're supposed to run into the sword. Oh my god. Come here. There you go. Alright, you ready? Fly down. Oh! Uh, I don't think that's worth the effort it takes to get it to work. Oh, what's this sand knife? That's pretty cool. Alright. Whoa! It's like the ripper knife, but even faster. Whoa! This thing is insane! Okay, I like this. Alright, let's, let's get it! Let's get it! Oh, man, that's good. Okay. And what else do we get? Sandstone bars? No way. A cactus bow? Okay, wow, there's so much new stuff. Okay, I don't think the cactus bow, our repeater's probably going to be better. Wow, I kind of want to fight it again, but let's go see what these sandstone bars do, guys. Oh, man. Whoa, so much going on. Where's the, uh, where's the guide? Here you are. Hello, guide. What's, uh, what's happening, my friend? Now, what can I make with these? Sandstone armor. Sandstone be- Ooh, okay, so it makes you faster. That's pretty cool. Oh, they're less defense than what we've already got, so possibly not worth it. But it makes you 30% movement speed. Whoa! And you make petrified spikes with it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Alright. We like that. Oh, man, what's this Pharaoh Blade? Wow, 30 damage. 
Oh, and you get more money. Oh, we have to get this. This looks like a farming weapon. And I need sturdy fossils. I can probably mine them with this pickaxe. Alright guys, we're gonna get some we're gonna get some fossils quickly. I think I've got an extractinator. Yeah, 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 we can do this. Sturdy fossils. We won't even need that many. Alright, let's do this quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we've made our way into the underground desert biome, and we can indeed mine these lovely desert fossils with our whoa uh, with our pickaxe and get attacked by uh, what are they called? Dune crawlers or something? To tomb crawlers, I think. Um, but that's kind of cool. So on average, you need about seven desert fossils to get one uh, sturdy fossil. Oh man, that that sword is so fast. Oh, we got those desert spike things, petrified spikes, cool. So what I'll probably do, guys, uh, we're just going to have a look around for plenty of desert fossils. Uh, so I'll need about... Oh, how many did I need to make the sword? I didn't really look at the number, like, I just know I need them. Um, oh god, I don't know. I'll get about 200, that should be enough, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And uh, if we find anything else interesting while I'm down here, I'll, uh, I'll share it on camera with you. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much just me mining our uh, desert fossils. So we'll skip ahead and uh, then we can make our awesome new weapon. Well, I think we've got enough desert fossils. And oh my gosh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> back, back, you foul beast. No! Oh no. Oh man. Oh my god, another life crystal. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, who knew almost dying can lead to such awesome prizes? Oh man, this is so good. So as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted, oh my gosh, it's a new enemy. Let's get it. Ah, no, let's use the new sword. Ah, slimy, you're interfering with my damage. Oh man, okay. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, we've got enough life crystals now. So, uh, I mean desert fossils. <laughs> okay, so we should be right. So I guess we'll make our way back to base and start... Uh, crafting all this new stuff. Alright guys, let's get our extractinator set up and I'll run through the silt and slush we've got quickly first uh, because why not? We might as well get all that happening. It's just been sitting in our crafting box waiting to be used and I'm pretty sure the drop tables are similar for a lot of this stuff so... Oh wow! <laughs> I farmed way too much desert fossils! Oh, we've already got enough sturdy fossils. Oh well. I mean, it's always going to be nice to get extra gems and uh, whatnot. Oh man. Alright, I'll jump ahead to where we finish running this through. Well, that's interesting. Amber mosquito. Wow, we've got a dinosaur pet. <laughs> that's so cool. Wow, I don't think I've gotten the amber mosquito before. I'm pretty sure that's in normal Terraria, but... Uh, Hey, it's still pretty cool. Now, let's see. Do I have everything? Yes, we do. <gasps> we can make our new blade. Oh, man. Very cool. Okay. How is it? Oh, man. It's a single swing sword. No, it's not auto swing. <laughs> oh, well. We still got it. That's the main thing. All right, guys. I guess it's time to maybe take on the Skeletron uh, while we're waiting for the chef to move in. I uh, put a table in this house, so he should move in now, but I guess we'll go to the dungeon, uh, which we haven't found yet, so I guess we have to go exploring down this end of the world, and uh, yeah, let's, let's fight Skeletron, let's do it. Alright guys, here we are, at the dungeon, ready for our battle. Oh man, <laughs> Okay, oh, I like how the little pterodactyl brings a dinosaur to you, it's cute. Oh, alright, are we ready? I think so, I hope so. Whoa man, okay, here comes the fun. Whoa, two hits early, not good. 
All right. Well, have we got a oh, three hits? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so yeah, I guess uh, we're gonna do our best against Skeletron here. Um, one thing I've been thinking about, and we're probably gonna need to start doing this for future boss fights, is because we're sort of just playing any old random class. Uh, it means we don't have as much damage output, um, which you can probably notice straight away. I'm not doing a ton of damage to Skeletron's hands. Um, oh no, this is bad. Uh, we're gonna have to keep moving. <laughs> Cross country battle. Let's go. <laughs> okay, and can we sneak back past? Beautiful. Back to the arena. <laughs> oh no, out of the way, you. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. I think we're good. <laughs> so yeah, like we can still use lots of different stuff, but I'll probably have to. Whoa, I have to probably pick this specialized um, like war melee or mage uh, armors for each fight, just so we're dealing as much damage as possible. Um, but that's okay. We should be alright for this fight. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, and thanks to everyone who told me you can buy, uh, Jester Arrows. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Jester Arrows from the Archer NPC, which is actually really handy. Um, yeah, they're like one silver each, so they're not cheap. Um, especially for a boss fight when you use several hundred. But, uh, that's, that's still a nice option to have. Um, so here we go. I probably should heal soon. Yeah, a nice one. Alright, there we go. We're good, we're good. Okay, I probably need to be on that top platform uh, before his head spins. Uh, that's why I'm not uh, jumping up, because I'm going to get hit by the head, uh, which is not nice. Alright, but we're just going to keep working on these hands. Working on the hands. Got to take them out nice and early. You might notice the moon's already halfway through the sky. Um, and I guess the danger might be not beating Skeletron by the time the morning gets here. So, yeah, that's a bit scary too. All right, let's ooh, let's try that sword. I like how it just sort of is like a stationary target sort of thing. It's kind of cool. Um, there we go. Is that going to get some extra damage in? Skeletron's probably a bit fast for it, but I do like the concept. It's very cool. All right, those hands are getting low. We're getting there slowly but surely. Oh, yeah. All right, let's dash back through. Oh, man. Okay, up. Up, see go. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Come on, hands. You're going down. Uh, we're under 200 arrows, but that should be enough to at least kill the hands, hopefully. And dash around. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Beautiful. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this, people. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I didn't get any honey from the jungle. I probably should have done that, too. Uh, wow, we're really uh, limiting ourselves for this fight. I'm usually a lot more equipped than this, but that's okay. I always say I, I want a challenge. I like a challenge. Oh, okay. Let's run back up here a bit. Okay, these hands are almost down. Very nice. All right, let's get back to our arena. We're going to need that to dodge skulls in a moment. Oh, yeah. All right. Probably use Snowball uh, Cannon Launcher. I can't remember what the name of this one is. Snowball Cannon. Beautiful. All right, let's get rid of those hands. Okay, beautiful. And let's get rid of this other one. It's only got about 100 left. Oh, don't you shoot skulls at me, mister. Don't you shoot skulls at me. No, 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 no. All right, there we go. We're down to just just me and Mr. Skeletron's head. Oh, man. I want to try this sword against him. Okay, let's try it. Oh, look at the damage. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, don't shoot skulls at me. Don't shoot skulls at me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, let's try a bit of snow snowball cannon now. Oh, okay. That's, that's working all right. Beautiful. So, I often say that, to me, the hardest part of the fight is the start. Oh, man. It does some nice damage. Look at all the hits. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to the arena. Back on the ant line. <laughs> Okay guys, it's getting low, but it's almost morning. Oh man, come on, we can't afford for him to go into his crazy uh, one-hit kill mode. Oh, 500 health. Oh man, okay, I gotta heal off. Oh, come on, we gotta keep that damage on him. Oh my god, this is gonna be close. Oh, okay, even if he enrages now, we might be able to kill him. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Wow. Man, it is so close to morning. Oh, I wish I had a watch on me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, crazy. Oh, hey, Mr. Skeleton. How's it going? Oh, no, it's a zombie. <laughs> oh, we'll take that heart. Oh, okay, we did it. Oh, all right, it is time for treasure. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I think we get the bone glove, don't we? Um, I really am starting to like that weapon. It's pretty cool. But uh, hopefully we get some other cool stuff too. So you ready guys? Three, two, one, boom! Oh yeah, <laughs> lazy bone glove. <laughs> and we got a skeleton mask. Oh yeah, I'm sand. <laughs> oh, so crazy. Love it. Alright, let's take that off. Okay, so we are ready now to make our way into the dungeon with all the crazy slimes in there. And uh, maybe find some school, some school stuff, some cool stuff down in the depths here. Oh yeah, golden key already. I like it. Wow. Ooh, that's a nice start. So we can open our first golden chest we find. That's going to be so awesome. All right, down into the dungeon. All right, guys. Thanks as always for watching another episode of our expert Tremor mod let's play. Oh man, another two bosses. And I was really impressed with that Rook boss today. Like, it was, it was tough. And uh, I can see that being quite a difficult boss if you fought it too early. Like, it's, um, those vultures are a bit out of control. And uh, yeah, it was a really fun battle. So, so far we've had Tiki, which uh, was kind of okay. And then, yeah, this boss, I was quite impressed with that. So, really looking forward to fight the evil corn boss now. But uh, I might have to wait for a Blood Moon because, yeah, the chef won't move in until we have one. Uh, so what I might do for the next episode is just leave my computer on uh, and Terraria running until we get that Blood Moon. Uh, just so we can access all that stuff because that would be really cool. Um, so, as always, guys, keep those comments and suggestions coming for the Tremor mod. Uh, I am listening to them all. You know, I can't do all of them every episode, obviously, but... I definitely appreciate it, and sometimes you guys think of stuff that I mightn't, so yeah, really cool indeed. Alright, it's time for some shoutouts as always. Now, first one is from Sailor11 Sedna. Yes, that's right. And of us we're seeing a Felix voice. Who needs deathweed when you can go fishing? <laughs> I like that. And it's really cool when you do. Oh, <gasps> Wyvern! No! I can't, I can't shoot the arrows. I'm holding my iPad in one hand and controlling with the other. Go, Stardust Dragon. You can do it. <laughs> oh, Wyvern, you're so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that about fishing. You can just fish up all the cool potions. Our next one is from Nightmare Wolf, and they've asked me saying a pig run voice. Oh, pig run. They've asked me saying Twaffle Cookie. <laughs> oh, pig run. He's like the best mount. I love him. He's awesome. Uh, our next one is from the Jamie Broadcast. And they've asked me saying a Felix voice, a golem fist. Am I cursed as well? <laughs> oh, not as cursed as Helena is with her three in a row, but still. <laughs> you might get there one day, Felix. Our next one is from Devon Phillips. And they've asked me to say again in a Felix voice, you are one popular fisherman. They've asked me to say if that golem doesn't give me a pixel, he's in for a bad time. <laughs> oh yeah, keep the Undertale references coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I finished my pacifist run, but I haven't tried genocide yet, so I really want to try that. I think it sounds awesome. All right, and our last one today is from Video Game Expert. And they've asked me to say in a Draco voice, where's the cookie stuff? Oh yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> oh, Alright guys, thanks so much for watching as always. If you're still watching now and you're enjoying everything that we are doing, smash that like button with a cookie, show your support, really makes me happy. As I said, comments and feedback always appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone who's been doing that lately. And if you haven't subscribed yet guys, <gasps> I've got bombs in my inventory. No, that's such a bad move. If you haven't <laughs> subscribed yet guys, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed, you'll get our latest video straight to your sub box. Here's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya. Alright, now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh, goodness. Okay, we've got to heal off. Nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form. Oh, what are we- No! 